She had been married to seven husbands, whom Admodeus, the evil spirit, had killed. So the, the, the evil spirit of lust had killed these men. It says before they had lain with her. So, you know, so basically they were like, I believe, in the marriage chamber, man, and then the demon would come and just, just, just strangle them. So then it says, do thou not know? Said they that thou hast strangled thy husband, so they so they thinking that she strangled them. All right, <laughs> that she killing all her husbands. Right? It says, Thou hast had already seven husbands, neither was thou named, neither was thou named after any of them. So she ain't had been she ain't been named after any of them or nothing. What does that mean, named after them? Uh, basically called like called uh like you know, you know how you say the house of Karash, you know what I mean? Yeah, Karash's wife. Yeah. So she wasn't called the wife of anybody. She, she was just, you know what I mean? She was just Sarah. So it says, Why doest thou beat us uh for them? If they be dead, go thy way after them. Let us never see of thee either. Uh, either son or daughter. That's cool. When she heard these things, she was very sorrowful, so, uh, so that she thought to have strangled herself. And she said, I am the only daughter of my father. And if I do this, it shall be a reproach unto him. And I shall bring his old age with sorrow unto the grave. So she wanted to kill herself. Right, because you know, because of just because of the reproach of her handmaids, man, she can't understand why you know this is happening to her, right? And because of what everybody else, yeah, was and and you know, and everybody else was sitting there, you know, talking crap, okay. And uh, so then you know, but she had to, she basically like snapped back to reality and she had to understand, like, uh, you know, I'm the only daughter of my father, you know what I mean? So if she kills herself, then. You know, he gonna, you know, he basically gonna die sorrowful. All right. So it says, then she prayed towards the window and said, "Bless art thou, O Lord, my God, and thy holy and glorious name is blessed and honorable forever. Let all thy works praise. Excuse me. Let all thy works praise thee forever." And now, O Lord, I set my eyes and my face towards thee and say, take me out of the earth that I may hear no more the reproach. So she like, Lord, please just kill me that I don't hear no more of the reproach. So then she says, thou knowest, Lord, that I am pure from all sin with men. So meaning she, you know, she hasn't been touched by a man, right? He says, and that I never polluted my name nor the name of my fathers in the land of my captivity. I am the only daughter of my father. Neither hath he any children to bear to, to be his heir, neither any near kinsman nor any son uh, of his alive to whom I may keep myself for a wife. My seven husbands are already dead, and why should I live? But if it please not thee that I should die, command some regard to be had of me, and pity taken of me, that I hear no more reproach. She wanted. She didn't want to hear no more of the reproach. And uh, it says, so the prayers of them both were heard before the majesty of the great God. So at the same time, both of their prayers, remember it says in the scriptures that the incense, right? The incense of the altar, that's the prayers of the saints. You know what I mean? They go before the heavenly father. Okay. But it's an angel that takes those prayers unto the father. All right. It says, and Raphael was sent to heal them both. That is to scale away the whiteness of Toba's eyes 
and to give Sarah, the daughter of Reguel, Reguel, for a wife to Tobias, the son of Tobit, and to bind Amadeus, the evil spirit, because she belongeth to Tobias by right of inheritance. The selfsame time came Tobit home and entered into his house, and Sarah, the daughter of Reguel, Reguel, came down for uh, from her upper chambers, right? So now that was the whole, that's basically like spoiler right there. They basically tell you the whole plot right there, right? So the reason why, you know what I'm saying, you know, uh, all this is happening, right, is because that she basically was preserved, right? This, this woman was basically preserved for Tobias, right? So the reason why those men, and you'll see that, you'll see that, uh, what did he say? Raphael uh, basically tells him, he was like, you know, you have more right to, you know, to uh, to her than anybody else. And then remember, he's going to basically receive the inheritance. Once he marries Sarah, all of the wealth of uh, of, of Regal is going to go to, to Tobias, right? You know what I mean? So, you know, because remember, she said, you know, he doesn't have a son to, you know, to mm-hmm. give him to give his inheritance to. So it's all gonna go to 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 to, 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 to excuse me, but to Tobias. All right. So <clears throat> this was the task of Raphael. All right. So this also shows you, you know what I'm saying, about what's said in the book of Hebrews as well, right? You have to be, you know. Let, let's read it. Let me read it to you. It's better if I read it. We're talking about entertaining angels. Yes, that's what I was talking about. That's what I was talking about. Mm. I think it's first John. Excuse me. Five, four, three. Hold on one second, I Yeah, Hebrews Hebrews thirteen and two. Excuse me, Hebrews thirteen and two. Hebrews thirteen and two, and it says here. I started verse. Uh, I started verse one. Sorry. He says, "Let brotherly love continue. Be not forgetful to entertain strangers." For thereby some have entertained angels unaware. See that? Sorry. Yeah, so, you know, so this also ties into the story of, of Tobit as well, all right, given the understanding of it, okay? So remember, you're going to see that Tobias is going to be basically entertaining an angel, all right? And, um, yeah, so so that's what he says. His whole His whole purpose was you know, to um, to help Tobias, all right, Sarah, okay, and, and Tobit, all right, to heal Tobit's eyes, all of that. So he says, and Raphael was sent to heal them both, that is to scale away the whiteness of Tobit's eyes, to give Sarah, the daughter of, of Regal, for a wife to Tobias, the son of Tobit, and to bind Admodeus, the evil spirit, because she belonged to Tobias by right of inheritance. The selfsame time came Tobit home. All right. So stop there. So stop there. So you see that. 
So you see that the most high, man, you know what I'm saying? He'll make sure he pres he'll preserve you for the right person. All right. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's like a lot of the times you look at all of those relationships that you went through, how toxic they were and how, how bad, you know what I'm saying? They were. And then, you know, you, you like, you know, you, you meet the right person finally, you know what I'm saying? Like it, it goes into that way. Remember, that's why Christ talks about, you know, what God has joined together, let no man put asunder. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? So marriage was, is instituted by God. So you don't think God will bring you your spouse? So it was the same thing with, you know, the situation with Sarah, right? Those men that she was that she was being married to weren't meant for her, all right? But for Tobias, all right, the son of Tobit, okay, all right? So now... Let's see. So that's chapter four. Let's see. Da, 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 da. So yeah, we'll read chapter five. We'll read chapter five and verse one. So now it says, Tobias then answered and said, Father. I will do all things which thou hast commanded me. So just as a good son should, just as a good son should. All right. I will do all of what you command me, pops. So he says, but how can I receive the money seeing I know him not? All right. So remember, Toby was blind. So, you know, he couldn't, he couldn't travel with him. Okay. So he says, and then Tobias has never, has never seen this man. It says, then he gave him the handwriting and said unto him, seek thee a man which may go with thee whilst I yet live, and I will give him wages and go and receive the money. He says, therefore, when he went to seek a man, he found Raphael that was an angel. So you see that? So it says he was seeking a man. He says he found Raphael. All right. So you see how the most high man will also put those those beings in your path, okay, to help guide you, all right? So you may not know who you're dealing with, but guess what? They're there for a certain reason, mm -hmm. all right? So therefore, he went to seek a man. He found Raphael that was an angel, but he knew not. And he said unto him, Canest thou go with me to Rages, and knowest thou those places well? To whom the angel said, I will go with thee, and I know the way well, for I have lodged with our brother Gabriel. And then Tobias said unto him, Tarry for me till I tell my father. So he said, All right, come with me, or chill with me until, you know, I'll tell my father. He says, Then he said unto him, Go and tarry not. So he went into, excuse me, he went in and said to his father, Behold, I have found one which will go with me. Then he said, Call him unto me, that I may know of what tribe he is, and whether he be a trusty man to go with thee. So he's like, He wanted to see, all right, he wanted to see who his son who was going to escort his son. All right. He wanted to know what tribe and see if he was a trusty person. OK, so he called him and he came in and they saluted one another. So then Tobit said unto him, brother, show me of what tribe and family thou art. Like he could actually show him, but he said to whom he said, doest thou seek for a tribe or a family? or an hired man to go with thy son. Then Tobit said unto him, I would know, brother, thy kins, kindred and name. So he's like, he so the angel asked, so I thought you were looking for, you know, you like you looking for a tribe and a name, you know what I mean? Or are you looking for somebody that's going to go with your son, right? He's like, brother, I want to know your tribe and your name. So then he said, then he said, I am Azarias, the son of Ananias, the great of thy brethren. Then Tobit said, Thou art welcome, brother. Be not angry with me, because I have inquired to know thy tribe 
and thy family, for thou art my brother, and an honest and good, and an honest and good stock. For I know Ananias and Jonathan as sons of the great Semias, as we went together to Jerusalem to worship and offer, and offered the first uh, firstborn, the firstborn, and the tenth of the fruits, and they were not seduced with the heir of our brethren. My brother, thou art a good of a good stock. Right, so you see Raphael, you know, Raphael had to tell him a name that he was familiar with and that he knew. All right, so remember, Raphael's an angel. So he already knew what the deal was, all right? So now, so now he says, but tell me what thy wage shall, what wage shall I give thee? Wilt thou, uh, wilt, wilt thou a... A Durham, a day, and the things, uh, things necessary as to my own son. Yea, moreover, if ye return safe, I will add something to thy wage. So they they were well pleased. Then said to, then he said to Tobias, prepare thyself for the journey, and God send you a good journey. <clears throat> And when his son had prepared all things for the journey, his father said, Go thou with this man and God, which dwell in heaven. Prosper your uh, prosper your journey, and the angel of God keep you company. So they went forth both, and the, and the young man's dog with them. But Anna, her mother, wept. Uh, Anna, his mother, wept. And she, uh, excuse me, and said, Tobit, why hast thou sent away our son? Is he not the staff of our hand in going in and out before us? So they would send this, they would send his son, you know, they would send their son to go out, all right, to do errands and stuff, right? He says, be not greedy to add money to money, but let it be a refuge in respects to our child. For that which the Lord hath given us to live with do suffice us. Then said Tobit to her, Take no care, of my sister. He shall return in safety, and thy eyes shall see him. For the good angel will keep him company, and his journey shall be prosperous, and he shall return safe. Then she made and end of weeping. So his mama was crying. So does that mean that he knew that the person that was accompanying his son was an angel? No, not necessarily. He could have said, you know, may, may the good an may the angel of God accompany you both. You know, remember, we all got angels accompanying us, one way or another. That protect us. You know, that watch over us. That's writing. That's writing many of the things that we doing. You know. That's writing many of the things that we doing down. All right. Get out. So the angel's there for protection. So now let's read on for chapter six. As they went on their journey, they came to the came in the evening of the river Tigris. Right? So the Tigris. Okay. It says, and lodged there. And when the young man went down to wash himself, a fish leaped out of the river and would have devoured him. So this was a big ass fish that jumped out at him. Uh -huh. He said it would have devoured him, you know. He said, So, you know, he, this brother trying to take a bath or something, man, and then the giant fish jumped out at you. I'm like, shoot, I'm probably like, what the hell? So it says, Then the angel said unto him, Take the fish. And the young man laid hold of the fish and drew it out, drew it to land. It says, to whom the angel said, open the fish. So he said, cut it open and take the heart and the liver and the gall and put it and put them up safely. All right. So he said, take the heart and liver and the gall. He said, put them up safely. So the young man did as the angel commanded him. And when they had a, had roasted the fish they did eat all right so the angel was basically eating before eating with 
uh, Tobias. All right, so I'll show you that they do eat. Okay, just like remember angels bread. You know what I mean? So, so you know even the angels have bread that they do eat, right? Which is the unleavened bread. All right, the, the bread that came down from heaven. So then it says. Uh, he says, then they both went on their, um, let me back up. So the young man did as the angel commanded him, and they roasted the fish. They Don't did eat. The then they both went on their way till they drew near to Egbertain. Then the young man said to the angel, Brother Azarias, to what use is the heart and the liver and the gall of the fish? And he said unto him, touching the heart and the liver, if a devil or an evil spirit trouble any, we must make a smoke thereof before the man or the woman and the party shall be no more vexed. Right. So that's why he said, take the, that's why he was like, he's telling the man, the heart and the liver. All right. And he says, you know, if you've been troubled by that. So I wonder if that if that if this is a, if this is scripture does this actually work you know what I mean in in real time man so if it was like an evil demon that was around here or like you know what they call them poltergeists and all that stuff right you just burn the, you take the heart of the fish you know what I'm saying in the gall and then you just burn it into a smoke and then let's see if it it really removes the evil spirit from the home you know what I mean that'd be something interesting. Would that be lawful to practice? I mean. I mean, it's showing you right here that this, that, yeah, this is an angel of the Lord removing it. You know what I mean? So he's telling them the key to removing this evil spirit, right? To removing an evil spirit. Is that playing a part where we're not supposed to like uh, remake the oils and stuff like that? No. We're trying to do things. No. That, no. 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 Well, when he talks, when he talk about the uh, the 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 oils for the priest, that's specifically for the priest. So this wasn't specific. No, this is not specifically for the priest. Okay. This is telling him. He, this is he's letting Tobias know the answer to a question that he had. Okay, so you have the gall. I mean, you have the heart. I mean, the heart and the liver of the fish. You burn it. You're going to drive away the evil spirit. Mm -hmm. When we read on later, that's what happened when they were in the marriage chamber. But weren't those parts supposed to be burnt anyways for sacrifice? No, yeah. we don't. We don't. We don't sacrifice a fish on the altar. This is a fish. Yeah. It's not a this is not an animal. Hmm. You know what I mean? So now if you got an evil spirit in your house, right? How would you get rid of it? How would you get rid of it? <laughs> People would... say burn sage. It does things like sage. I mean, pray, pray <laughs> yeah, you definitely you definitely should pray. You know what I mean? But yeah, that's but you that know. That's why I said that you know, was. Uh, uh, go ahead. Why do you have that monkey? Oh, we ain't gonna go get the uh, gallbladder and all that her. liver stuff. No, right. get out. no I mean, what, what I'm saying. Bible, yeah, yeah, but what I'm saying is, I'm like, you know, I wonder if this, if this would actually work if it was done. You know what I mean? Because you know, you see the pre Catholic priests and all that, they use witchcraft. In in uh what what they call it they use a form of, of witchcraft to you know to basically exercise demons and all that stuff, but this is just a smoke. There's no incantation. They basically they prayed and they burnt the smoke. I mean they burnt the heart of the fish, and the, the, the heart and the liver of the fish when they pray to the pray to Yah. You know what I mean? That doesn't say anything evil, and this is the angel of the Lord telling him. You know what I mean? This is what it's for. All right. Yeah, so uh, you know, I don't. I, I'm like, I'm not. I'm like, it would be different if we sat here and said, you know, Ali Baba, Jua Mama, Da Ba Ga Ba Ba, and then you know what I mean. We trying to get, we trying to, we trying to get rid of a spirit or something. We looking in the in a book of witchcraft. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so for real, but I think, I think uh, it was. Uh, I also looked up this. Looked up what the 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 the, the bladder of the fish. With yeah. the, uh, yeah, the, the gall of the fish, <laughs> what that was actually for, whatever. Gall of a fish. Because I think it has, like, health benefits to it. Is there a picture? Hold on. It's basically, it says it's the gallbladder. 
of the fish. That's where I'm thinking though. Let's see. Um, there was actual like uh, health rem health rem rem ramifications to it or benefits to it. Because that's what healed Tobit's eyes. You guys have to put in health benefits of the fish's gold bladder. Yeah, that's a catfish. I know it was a clean fish. It wasn't no unclean fish. It wouldn't use no unclean okay. fish. Yeah, I'll look it up. I'll look it up. So I have found it, but it, it basically it does. It has it has like health benefits to it for like certain ailments and stuff like that. Yeah, it has like health benefits to it for like certain ailments and stuff like that. But anyway, let's, let's read. Oh yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that later or whatever. So that's what. So that's what he was basically telling. Uh, that's how he would drive away the evil spirit. So it says, as for the gall, it is good to anoint a man that had whiteness of his eyes, and he shall be healed. All right, so that's what he was telling what the, the, the bladder was or the gall was for. And when they had came to they had came near rages, the angel said to the young man, Brother, today we shall lodge with uh Ragel, who is thy cousin. He also hath one only daughter named Sarah. I will speak for her that she may be given thee for a wife all right so this was his cousin all right so now he says for to thee doeth the right of of her appertaineth all right so to him she she basically has right to her seeing thou only art of her kindred and the maid is fair and wise. So she's she, so he's saying that she's very beautiful and she's wise. Okay. So he's like, she's not ugly. So it says, Now therefore hear me, and I will speak to her father. And I and when we return from rages, we will celebrate the marriage. For I know that Regal cannot marry her to another according to the law of Moses. But he shall be guilty of death, because the right of the inheritance doeth right doeth rather pertain to thee than any other. So, so basically, he can't marry his daughter out to anybody else. All right, it has to be, you know what I'm saying? As it says, you know, yeah. as it says according to the law. So it says, then the young man answered the angel, Mama! "I have heard, brother, as a as a as a riot, that this maiden hath been given to seven men who all died in the marriage chamber. And now I I am the only son of my father, and I and I am afraid. Least if I go in unto her, I die as the others before, for a wicked spirit loveth her, but hurteth nobody. But those, but those which come unto her, so they the spirit doesn't hurt anybody around her, but just those that that tr that try to come into her. So it says, "Wherefore I fear, lest I die, and bring my father and my mother's life, uh, bring my father and mother's life because of me, to the grave with sorrow, for they have no other son to bury them." Then the angel said unto him. Doest thou not remember the, thy priest, the precepts which thy father gave thee, that thou shouldest marry a wife of thine own kindred? Wherefore, hear me, O my brother, for she shall be given to thee to wife, and make thou no reckoning of the evil spirit. For this same night shall she be given thee in marriage. 
So he said, tonight she gonna be your wife. So he says, and when thou shalt come into the marriage chamber, thou shalt take the ashes of perfume and shalt lay upon them some of the heart and liver of the fish and shall make a smoke with it. And the devil shall smell it and flee away and never come again any more. But when thou shalt come to her, rise, uh, rise up both of you and pray to God, which is merciful, who will have mercy on you and save you. Fear not, for she is appointed unto thee from the beginning. You see that? He says, she has been appointed unto thee from the beginning. Bam. That's, that's how you know that those other men weren't for her. All right, Tobias was the one. And thou shalt preserve her, and she shall go with thee. Moreover, I suppose that she shall bear thee children. Now when Tobias had heard these things, he loved her, and his heart was effectually joined unto her. Mm -hmm. Right? So he's just like, man, he ain't seen her yet. He just fell in love with her. You know, because his brother's just like, you know, just amping him up. You know what I mean? Giving them a good word. Like, right. she, she's for you. You know? Don't worry about no evil-ass spirit. Don't worry about none of that. She's yours, all right? So now, when you read chapter 7, all right? This is when, uh, in chapter 7, that's when they meet, you know what I'm saying? Uh, 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 Ragel and Edna, you know what I'm saying? The mother and father of Sarah, all right? Then they go through the whole, you know, through the whole process. Okay. So now, so we'll read chapter seven. Huh? Who? Hello? Yeah. You there? You there? Yeah, he said, uh, he said six o'clock. Okay. Go ahead, bro. You good? Yeah, yeah, I'm good. I'm so I'm so on the lesson, man. You know, it passed me up. <laughs> you know what I mean? I heard that. Now you good? Shoot, uh, shoot. You gotta handle your business, man. We'll stop there, and uh, you know, you know, you can always pick it up, man. The next week. That's why I like this. It's love story. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, all right, my brother, uh, go ahead and handle your business, man. All right, man. All right, man. I'll holler at you. Shalom. Shalom, family. Shalom, shalom. shalom. Right. It's so warm.